Hello guys, it's European Coffee Trip and in this video we will show you how to make specialty Turkish coffee. In order to show you how to prepare a great specialty Turkish coffee, we have to find a person who will teach us and it was not really difficult to find Turgay Yildizli who is 2013 World Ibrik Chesve Champion and he also ran a portal called Specialty Turkish Coffee. When we ask for help, he sent us all the equipment we needed and also he tell us all the steps that we'll be showing you in this video. So if you want to learn how to do this traditional method in a modern way, watch this video. So what do you need to brew delicious Turkish coffee? First thing you need to start is great coffee, freshly roasted and for our brewing we'll be using the coffee from the champion and the champion is Alexander Nikolai who was a 2016 World Coffee Roasting Champion and he sent us his naturally processed Ethiopian coffee. Next thing you have to grind it, so the grinder is very important for Turkish coffee because the grind size is really fine, finer than espresso grind, not all the grinds are capable of doing that so we'll be using the special grinder from Turkey that is designed for that and you need to make sure that your grinder is capable of doing that then you need to have a brewing vessel Cesve how they call it in Turkish and this Cesve is made by soy turkey it's a competition model and it just looks beautiful then you need to have a source of heat you need to make sure that you can warm up the water and you need to make sure that you have a chance to control the flame of it. So this is important for the control brewing. Then you need to have a scales, also first in for a coffee and then also for water. So you, you know how much coffee, how much water you are using. And another important thing is the, the, the stir that you will mix properly coffee and water. And once the coffee is brewed, you need to have a cup. And for a Turkish coffee, you're supposed to have a different kind of cup with the wider bottom so it's way easier for ground to settle down and also it's more pleasant to drink afterwards so these are all the things you need let's go for it let's brew turkish coffee together so we'll be using seven grams of coffee that we'll grind and put into the cheswe then we will add 70 grams of water. So it's a one to 10 ratio that we should follow all over the Turkish coffee recipes. And for water, we can use the room temperature, but the recommendation is to actually heat it up to the 60 degrees of Celsius. And this will help us to heat up the process of brewing. Next, stir the coffee water mixture well with a wooden paddle. So the agitation prevents clumps in the slurry and, and promotes even extraction. Then place the cheswe over the heat source. Adjust the heat source to obtain the optimal brewing time. Brew time should be around two and two and a half minutes when the foam begins to rise towards the rim. But before the coffee boils, you have to remove it from the heat source so the coffee is not boiling. Pour slowly into the cup, hold the cup at the angle to help retain the foam. And voila, coffee is ready. But you shouldn't drink it straight away because you have to wait a bit um, before the ground settles down. And that's why there is a ritual connected with Turkish coffee. You should get the water and you should get the, some sweets so you can enjoy it before coffee is ready to be tasted. So this was a Turkish coffee done in a specialty way. So we hope we provide enough reason to give Turkish coffee a try. If you have still some question, something you want to ask, leave us a comment and we'll do our best to answer that. Thanks for watching. We hope you learned something new. Smash the like button if you liked the video, subscribe and we will see you next week. Bye bye. Bye bye.